Happy Halloween everyone and welcome to Baba Chuck 14's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Halloween special of Boba Chuck 14, and today we take a look at this, the Universal Monsters and Transformers collaboration, Draculas. But before that... And if it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of any new updates, new videos of my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and all the good stuff. And now back on with the video. So Draculus is a celebration of 90 years of Dracula. And today, join me as we take a look at this Halloween special of Boba Chuck 14. Taking a look at Draculus. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have the packaging for Draculus. And it's a really awesome packaging. As you can see, you have the Monsters logo and Takaratomi. Transformers to the side and it's Dracula and as you can see here at the bottom it says Dracula X Transformers so it's a collaboration between these two companies more than meets the eye Transformers and his name Dracula yes. on the top you have the 90 year anniversary of Dracula Transformers on the other side an awesome artwork of Dracula again and then the bottom not much then on the back of the packaging you have the product shots and a bunch of writings as well and then here on the side is where it gets awesome because this packaging is made to look like a VHS tape just like in the old days or a Batamax tape so as you can see still have the Dracula 90 anniversary and you have the Decepticon symbol and Universal Monster so let's open it up and let's take a look at what's inside and as you can see an awesome VHS inspired packaging. So before the Blu-rays and streaming and Netflix you have the VHS and as you can see it still has that awesome detail for the VHS. It's really made to look like a VHS tape. It's really really awesome and at the back is where you see the product of Draculus and it looks like his coffin. He really looks creepy in this. So let's take Draculus out and check out how awesome this figure is. So we have Draculus out of the box and first off let's take a look at this awesome instruction sheet which is done in black, gray and red colors and it really evokes the blood of Dracula. Just like Mindwipe he's got the same gun but now it's done in black plastic with some red brush up tones which is really awesome and you still have the claw shield over here which really look awesome with this black and red brush tones really great looking weapon over here so you have both of these for Draculus and it looks really awesome and here is Draculus and I want to suck your blood <laughs> so this figure is the same remold or same mold as the headmaster's mind wipe but it's got different head sculpt different chest molding and there's some differences in the transformation since this is not a headmaster anymore you can't remove the head but everything else is just the same and he's got this included cape which really looks awesome and works really great for the figure and just in time for halloween so now let's bring in mind wipe so you can see the size comparison as well and then you see the chest is different for mind wipe and draculus but you see the legs and then also the hands are different for draculus so let's take a closer look at draculus here you see the head sculpt for draculus really great awesome head sculpt and you see the red eyes really works for this figure and you see his pointed ears and you see the fangs on this vampire transformer really awesome figure and you still and he also has this collar around his neck which really evokes the old 
Dracula costume and even on the chest and you see his hand has got different open hands but unfortunately still no swivel for the wrist so let's take a look at the articulation so the head is on a ball joint so can turn 360 look up and down then the same ball joint for the shoulders and the same hinge here for the transformation so his shoulders have a lot of articulation and then you have the same bicep cut so it can swivel and then the same elbow joint so more than 90 degrees because of the transformation and then his hands only have the up and down motion due to the transformation as well no swivel and he still has the waist swivel as well which is really awesome and the wings you can position them any way you want not hindered by the cloth wing and then his legs can kick forward that much can kick backward that much and can do the splits almost the same as the uh, mind wipe and he's got more than 90 degree bend and then you have the up front and back motion for the feet that's it for his articulation and now let's give his weapons he'll have his gun and then you have his shield over here or the claw shield and now we're taking a look at his articulation weapons it's time for the transformation so here we go with the transformation so first off you take off all the weapons the gun and the claw shield so after you take off the weapons the next thing we do is take off the cape so it's just pegged on here to the back and then the wings just slide in through some holes so what you do is you take off on this part so you just slide out the wings through these holes and the cape is pretty easy to remove when he is in his robot mode so now he got the cape done and there's only one difference between the mind wipe and the Dracula's transformation and that is the head so for the head you just unpeg it from the top so it's just pegged into here so that's the only main difference between the transformations aside from the cape so the same fold in the hands fold in the forearms and then you swing it on the top and then when you have the arms up here you just swing the bicep swivel so that the claw is pointing to the back now then you fold the back wings up to the front so it's gonna look like way then you swing it around and then as usual these will become the wings so you just untab it here fold out the wings fold down the feet untab it here fold down the feet and then as usual these tabs will slot into these small holes over here and then these will just slot into here and the feet so just line everything up then slot it here so now you see on the back it's all tabbed in here to the small slots and the feet are tabbed into the wings so the final part and this is where I have a QC issue the head on the bat doesn't tap in that well and it's easily detachable as you can see so unlike my mind wipe where it's stuck in there securely this one just tabs out easily now the head is tabbed in there and you have draculus in his vampire bat mode so now we have draculus in the vampire bat mode and let's take a look at this awesome figure's head sculpt take a closer look at him and you see how awesome this guy is painted and he's got those blood red eyes which really look terrifying and you see brush up of red on his ears on the wings and then this blood red coffin of a chest which for me serves as the vampire's heart and if you drive a coffin through the vampire's heart and that's how you kill it and then you see the vampire bat claws here on his wings as you can see there and then red colored here on the inside of the wings which is really awesome and just like mind wipe you can close up the wings and pose him in a resting position like this he really looks terrifying and 
taking a look at the back, you see the black, all black wings at the back of the figure as well. Really great painted details and sculpted details as well. I love how this figure looks, but well, one thing with this figure is the wings are definitely a little bit looser compared to the mind wipe mold. Let's take a look at this one because the biggest difference between mind wipe mind wipe and draculas in the bat mode is if you see inside a chest there's the plastic square which prevents you from putting in so he wouldn't be able to sit in there and you can't push the figure in to the chest as compared to the mind wipe figure which has an open chest cavity here where you can put the headmaster figure and you can have him sitting comfortably and you can close up the chest as well so they really made an effort that you wouldn't be able to put a headmaster into his chest so now that we've got both figures here so we'll compare how the two of them look like and as you can see there is no difference with the mold it's just the painting so let's take out mind wipe and let's put the focus back on Draculus because the cape as well you can still use this in the bat mode but you just have to put it upside down so the easiest way would be to peg the back wings first and you peg it into the hole over here because it's a bit difficult to put the cape in the bat mode as compared to the robot mode So now that you have it pegged in over here, as you can see, so at the front, you can put it up on the side and you see there's hole here at the side of the cloth wing. So you can just insert the tip of the bat wing in there. Same thing on the other side. So you just fold up the excess cloth and you have Draculus with a cloth wing draped over him doesn't really look that well because it covers up the back it's better for draculus not to have the cloth wing when he is in bat mode let's get draculus back into his robot mode so that has been my review for this awesome figure the transformers collaboration between the universal monsters and the transformers draculus so really awesome figure especially when he is in this robot mode he really invokes the the vibe of Dracula. I really love all the painted details and sculpting and how they incorporated the Dracula character into Mindwipe. And before we end the video, I'd like to give a shout out to the following people who gave comments in my previous videos. Grash and Gala TV, April Jin and Tong, JD's Vlog, Mods Nicole Pagaran, and Bunders Journey. Thank you very much for leaving comments in my previous videos. And now it's time for the magic word. And the magic word is Happy Halloween, Draculus. So it had to be the correct spelling. So comment down below. The winners will be the first and the fifth commenters. So thank you guys for hanging out with Bubba Chuck 14 on this Halloween special. And Happy Halloween, everyone. Celebrate life. Be a miracle.